Dancers, welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at what the next 72 hours has in store for you. Also, any information that you need to book a personal reading or to follow me on my astrology channel or pick a card channel will be below. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What does the next 72 hours have in store? So, overall theme, we have the... Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, guys. I was staring at the card. The advice for you, we have the Hierophant. The possible challenge, we have the Temptation card, which would be like the Devil. Love and Romance, we have the Strength card in reverse. And Career and Finance, we have the Six of Wands. Okay. What is the overall theme card for my Cancers for the next 72 hours? So we have water. So of course the water element will show up for Cancers, but um, during this time frame, the overall theme is going to be connected to your emotions, intuition, creativity, all of that. Okay. Uh, be careful of making decisions during this time frame based off of emotions or allowing heat of the moment situations to make you do things that later on when your emotions change, because again, remember, emotions are energy in motion. So your emotions are going to constantly change and shift and flow. Um, but with this, yeah, you want to be careful of making, like I said, permanent decisions in the heat of emotions or feeling away. Another thing that I'm picking up on, you can find yourself just more emotionally sensitive during this time frame. Um, sensitive to energy, sensitive emotionally. Okay. But when you're picking up on things, when you're feeling things, don't ignore it. Because that could be intuitive nudges that you guys are um, tapping into and you just need to be cognitive of it. Now, going deeper into this reading, when it comes to the Seven of Pentacles also being in the position of the overall theme, uh, this is a time period of you reviewing everything that's happened up until this point within a relationship, within a job, and seeing what it, what's gotten you. Has, have you manifested good results from what you've been putting into a business endeavor, into a job, into a relationship, or have you been manifesting not so much uh, what you were looking for. And that's where you guys are going to be at. Um, you could be starting to see things from a different perspective as well, especially since time has gone on. You could be seeing things totally different than how you may have been seeing them previously. You could also be asking some valuable questions. What does this person want from me? We've been together or we've been dealing with each other for this long. So why don't I see X, Y, and Z coming from said situation? Now, what I see for the advice for you, I do have the Hierophant. So the advice is, for one, you guys have a lot of the answers that you seek. You could be seeking answers that you've had for the longest about a person, about a job, about a situation here. It's just maybe you've been seeking outside confirmation or insight when the advice here is to listen to your own your your own inner nudge your own advice you could be somebody who could give the best advice to everyone out in the world but when it comes to taking your own advice it's a bit of a struggle but with you having the answers with you having the the inner knowledge or the information necessary it's just actually doing something with it And if you do have a business where you want, like, and I'm seeing this as a very specific scenario, if you do have a business, if you do have a legal situation, if you do have a situation where you don't have all the answers or you do need reassurance, seek the proper counsel. Make sure that you're asking the right people for advice and not going to the people who are going to advise you to do things the way that they would do them, not from a point of view of what's best for you could be in your best favor as well. Now, what I see for the possible challenge with the temptation card here, the challenge could be a Capricorn or literal temptation. 
you could be tempted to go back to a toxic relationship because this person could fill a void for the moment. You could be tempted to give into that vice that you know that you really do need to let go of so that you can evolve and grow. Temptation could be the challenge. Vi certain vices, certain tempting attachments could be the challenge. Okay, discipline could be the challenge as well during this time frame. Now, what I see for love in, in romance with the strength card in reverse, uh, there could be a Leo in particular who you could be falling out with. In regards to the zodiac sign, you could be losing a level of willpower or determination to keep going in a particular relationship. You could feel like your person is taking your kindness for a weakness and you could find yourself just highly volatile, like ready to go off, ready to attack because of the things that you've already been put through by this individual. I'm saying the same thing for my singles as well. Like you could be single, but losing the determination or willpower to fight to date or to, to be in relationships. You could be losing that like hunger or fight for that. Because you could be tired of being in situations where you have to, yeah, you, you could be tired of being in situations where you're trusting in people and they kind of like take your kindness for a weakness. Hmm. You could find yourself losing your cool a lot easier during this time frame. So again, be careful of things that are said or done in the heat of the moment. Now, moving into career and finance with the Six of Wands, you could be recognized at your job for your hard work. They could be seeing you as someone who's very valuable to the company and expressing that to you and letting, you, letting that be known. You could also just be excited because you could be on the path of success, especially if you just recently graduated or if you're starting to see a business go on the up and up or you've been putting certain plans in place. You could just be really excited for the progress that you're making. And you could be also redefining what success looks like for you, okay? Success is very relative. You gotta always keep that in mind. Success is always relative. Because you can be somebody where going to college, you being the first person in your family to go to college is measured as success. As someone else may measure um, going to pilot school as a level of success. Success is very relative to the person who's defining it. But this is pretty much what I'm seeing. I hope that this was helpful and that this ugh, that this did give you insight. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one.